Hey, what's up guys? Here's a quick video of showing you the importance of rotating your tires and also keeping them balanced as well. As you can see, these tires are kind of on their last leg. I've had these on for well over probably about 50,000 miles. And um, we have about, you know, tip of a fingernail on this one to the right. But uh, the one over here, of course, is, you know, balding down pretty good. And uh, the, uh, the edges that are right here are no longer, you know, there as you can see that on uh, the side of your tires. So this is a BMW um, 7 Series E65, E66. And as you can see, the wearing um, this direction here, that might be due to alignment or just the way the uh, suspension's made. I know my Cadillac, it was uh, like that regardless of the uh, alignment. So let's look at the other one and check out the other. This is the front of the car as well. So here is the passenger side front tire as well. And as you can see, same thing of the previous driver's side front tire. Um, over on this side, the tread is still, you know, okay, but that uh, needs to be replaced. Uh, I could probably run it for eh, another 10,000 miles. But as you can see over here, um, it's, uh, it's wearing down. No, uh, almost through, as you can see where my finger is, the... Um, the little strands are going to start coming through here shortly, so these need to be replaced um, very soon for safety reasons, obviously. And let's go to the back and show you the back. And here is the back tire, and as you can see, this one is uh, even worse. The little strands are coming over onto the right, so again, this needs to re be replaced ASAP. And um, just a note to yourself, if you are rotating these tires, the back ones are going to be, and this is, I'm on the driver's side, back rear now. And as you can see, the more wearing is on the inside, um, just like on the front. So it looks like the suspension kind of dips into the right. Um, on the outside, it definitely needs to be replaced. But if the whole tire was like this, we could probably get away with another 5,000 miles or so. But um, this does need to be replaced ASAP. So a little note to yourself, if you are replacing the tires, and this is the back, these are the back tires here. If you are replacing the tires, um, check to make sure the uh, tires are different sizes. Mine are, my rear tires are different sizes than my front. As you can see here, you're going to look on the side wall of the tire. Normally it says it twice, but at least once. And mine are 275-40ZR19. Looks like a 10, but that's a 19. There we go. 275-40Z R19. These are Hankooks um, 105Y. And these are different than my front tires, which are um, 245-45R19. And these are Dunlop. And I'm very impressed with these front tires. These are actually fairly expensive tires here in the front. So again, different sizes. Alright, something I want to show you guys before you do rotate your tires is you want to go around the whole entire wall of the tire. And if you come up with a symbol, like I'm going to show you right now, this is on, of course, the back tires, but right here it says rotation. Let me zoom that in nice. Okay, so here it says uh, rotation with a little arrow. See how it says a little arrow right there? And it's not really like an arrow, it's kind of like a half moon arrow right there but rotation and that arrow means when the car is moving that's the way the tires need to roll so the arrow is pointing of course towards the front of the car and when the tires move they go that direction so when you do rotate uh, unfortunately well because my front tires are smaller than my rear tires I actually can't rotate them that's the only problem about having thicker tires in the back and directional. These are called directional tires. So my advice is don't buy directional tires because um, you can't flip-flop. You can't put this one on the driver's side because then obviously the uh, tire would be going backwards um, the tread pattern. And again you can't put these larger thicker ones wider uh, in the front. Those are thinner. These are wider. So that's just a heads up when you are buying tires ask them if they're directional um, and if you are if your tires are fine they're not directional 
um, and they're thicker in the back, then just flip-flop them. Put this one on the driver's side, driver's side on the passenger side. Same with up front, passenger side, driver's side, driver's side, passenger side. If they're all four the same exact size, then you crisscross them if they're not rotational, if they're not directional tires. Um, you crisscross them in an X. You take the passenger. Okay, let me get you a better example. You take the passenger front tire and you bring it back over here to the back driver's side rear. Then you take the driver's side front and you bring it back over here and you mount it to the passenger rear and vice versa. Pretty much you X them. Driver's side, passenger rear. Passenger front, driver back. So you X them. That is if they are not rotational directional tires. So that's a heads up for you guys. Alright, so these are my front tires here. These are actually Dunlops. They're actually different than the back ones which were Hankooks. These are uh, a Dunlop Sport Maxes. And as I look around the whole entire side here, again these are thinner like I said earlier. These are 245s. Uh, 45R19, so these ones are thinner, like I said before. These are actually, um, wow, these ones are actually, uh, yeah, about 20 millimeters um, thinner. And so as we come all the way around the Dunlops, these are actually, you know, like I said, really nice, expensive tires. Um, these ones do not have anything that says rotation with an arrow or directional. So these ones can be flipped um, from here to here because they are thinner. Obviously I can't put the thinner ones in the back. So again these ones because they're not uh, directional rotational tires these ones I can flip flop them here and here to eliminate the uh, inside uh, tread wear here. So again this was on the passenger side I can put this one over here on the driver's side to uh, even that tread wear out because these still have a, a good probably 10,000 miles left on them. Um, and that's, uh, that's worn down a little bit but not too much because mostly the wearing is going to then take place on this side so this will ease up on this side. So that's another little tip there. Alright, for example, this tire is a Pirelli and these are my new rims I'm going to put on my, uh, my car. but. Um, as you look all the way around, you know, here's your tire pressure. You're going to go all the way around, all the way around. And I did not see an arrow or any wording that says rotational or directional tire. So this means, this tire right here, uh, which is an expensive one, Pirelli P0, this one can be used on either side of the car for the back because, of course, this is a 285 and my front one's here are 265 and that is the width <laughs> 